I'm in beautiful Revelstoke today, a popular ski destination in the winter and good for hiking and mountain biking in the summer. Tonight I'm gonna stay in this beautiful dome accommodation here. It sleeps two people, has a sink and a toilet inside. And as you can see, I'm staying here in the winter, so there's a lot of snow around. Let's go inside and check it out if it's actually warm. The dome is located inside the Boulder Mountain Resort, which has a variety of accommodations like cabins and tents. It also has a little kiosk and a hot tub. All domes are protected with a numeric lock and a solid door. Inside is a queen-size bed and a little table where you can sit and relax. It's pretty warm in here, even though it's really cold outside. There's two heaters, one up there and one up there. And I'm sure under the blankets it's even warmer, but just to hang out here, it's pretty warm. And uh, cause it's a canvas tent, you can hear a lot of the noises that are going out outside. Like the, there's the highway is really close. So you can hear the cars going by. And then the train, you can also hear, cause I stayed here before in another accommodation. You could hear the train, which is comes like pretty regularly and it's pretty loud. So you can hear that. If you're a light sleeper, you might wake up in the night. And then there's also, yeah, on the backside, there is a toilet and a sink there. But when you want to have a shower, you have to go across the street, which is pretty close, but you have to go outside in another building if you want to uh, go shower. Um, but there, I think there's towels here and some shampoo and everything. So that's provided, but yeah, you just have to go outside to take a shower. But other than that, the bed looks pretty comfy and I wish there was a little kitchen where you could make some coffee or tea in the morning. But all in all, this is not too bad. Uh, I feel really cozy in here. What I love about the town of Revelstoke is that they kept all the houses pretty traditional. You see all these heritage houses here and there's cute coffee shops around. Yeah, so one of my favorite towns in Canada, little small towns. For breakfast, I would highly recommend Dose Coffee. It is my favorite coffee shop in town and I really like their focaccias and their breakfast sandwich is unreal. My favorite restaurant in town is Chubby Funsters, but the Taco Club or the Village Idiot are also solid options. On Tuesdays there's trivia at the River City Pub. Come early though to get a spot. But apart from eating, what else is there to do in Revelstoke? Oh yeah, and there's also uh, Mount Revelstoke uh, ski area, which you can see behind me. In the winter you can go skiing, and in the summer you can go mountain biking, which is nice. And it's one of the steepest, I think, in North America, so it's pretty steep. And yeah, I've skied there a few times and I really, really enjoy it. So yeah, one of my favorite mountains in Canada. So if you're here in the winter, might as well hit the slopes. If you're looking for a spot that is easy to get to, this place is a really cool secret tip. It's about a 15 minute drive out of town past the Revelstoke Dam. You reach Waterworld after a short hike off of the main highway. So another nice place to check out in Revelstoke is this place. It's called Water Park and it's a beautiful climbing destination in the summer. A little bit hard to accessible in the winter because there's so much snow. But yeah, the view is nice here. Look at this on this river. Oh. And there's also a national park in Revelstoke called Mount Revelstoke National Park. So there's also Mount Revelstoke National Park. As you can see, it's closed in the winter, but in the summer, there's beautiful views on the little town there and beautiful views on the river. So in the summer, I really recommend checking it out. But now, winter, you can't go. And if you like beer and are thirsty after a day full of adventures, you should definitely check out Mount Beckby Brewing, which is a little out of town, but easily reachable by car. So Mount Beckby Brewing in the background here. Unfortunately, the tap room is closed, so I can't get any rubber fills or beer, but uh, I tasted their beer before, it's pretty good. So if you visit here in the summer or when it's open, I'll definitely recommend you checking it out. After a long day of exploring, it is time to get cozy in the dome and have some rest. The next morning it was time to leave for the next adventure and draw a conclusion about my stay in this dome. Okay, so I'm just leaving the place. All in all, I had a great stay. I wasn't cold last night. I even had to turn off the heat because uh, it was too hot inside. And then the bed was comfy. The only thing is that it feels a little commercialized. Like all the pots and like the cabins are really close together. So you're not completely on your own. And uh, the other thing is that there's no Wi-Fi in my place. Um, so that was a little annoying. If you want to go work here, it's not really possible because they have wi don't have Wi-Fi. And then, yeah, it was a little annoying to go out in the shower, shower in the morning, especially in the winter. Um, it's considering you're paying $170 for that. 
Um, yeah, that's my only criticism, but other than that, I really enjoyed my stay.